hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another video in this lesson we're carrying on with the fight manager script and what we're going to do is just tidy up the audio and get that working and although we will need to come back to this script and add some things at a later date and it does need optimizing so we would have to come back and do that at least we can move on and do other things and then come back to this script later but for now let's just get the audio corrected and we're actually going to begin in the opponent manager script and we're going to come to public string underscore selected opponent. We're just going to change that to a static. Just so we can reference it direct from the fight manager script. And we need to create a number of audio clips. So I'll copy the player one. And I'll change that to player 2. We might as well get that created as well. Now we're also going to need audio clips for each of the robots. So what I'm going to do is just paste that line in 8 times. And we just need to change the naming conventions so robot black and then we'll have to do the same for all the other colored robots and um, obviously we'll need to change it in the comments but I will come back and do the comments off camera otherwise it's just going to take too long to go through So just the last few left now. And luckily this is going to be a fairly simple lesson this time because we can just reuse a lot of code. So there we go, we'll change it to robot gold. As I said, I'll go through and uh, tidy up the comments and alter them off camera. And we're going to come to display winning character. So let's come here. If character clip equals false. And what we're going to do is come inside there and we're going to create um, a number of other if statements. So if open and close brackets underscore player one round one is equal to true. Then we're going to play the play one audio clip. So I'll quickly get that in the comments is equal to true. And we're going to come below there and we're going to create an another if block 
underscore opponent round one equals true double and and what we can do now is reference the opponent manager dot selected opponent double equals and then it's stored as a string so we need the quote marks and inside the quote marks we need white robot opponent so here's the list of strings and they must match whatever you put in the fight manager sorry um do the black robot opponent first and we'll copy the line where we play the audio clip obviously we want to change to the robot black robot clip and we can break this up for commenting if Opponent round one equals true and and I'll put selected opponent from um let's put equals black robot opponent from the opponent manager script so obviously we could have done this um a different way let's so don't copy this part what i'm about to do but i'm just going to show you a different way of doing things we could have created an if statement here if opponent round one equals true and then we could create inside that a number of other if statements for the selected opponent only So this is how we could have done it, but I'm just going to use the and statement. And we're going to copy and paste that in. And again, we'll need to do this seven times for each one of the characters. And in each block, there's only two things that need to be changed. So the first one, black robot. Next one would be right, white robot opponent. And we need to change the clip. And we've just got to do this for every single opponent but we can just copy them straight from this string that way we know it's correct the naming convention So again, I'm just going to quickly go through and I know I will have to come back and again alter and tidy up the comments but again I'm going to do that off camera this time just so we can get all this done in one lesson. So, we 
we just need the last few in. And I miss one out. So lastly for the pink and gold robot. So let's just quickly get those in place. So that's the code complete. Let's save that off. So like I said, I'll need to come back and just tidy up the comments. But again, I'm going to do it off camera because I really just want to get this done in one video so we can move on and do other things. So let's just assign the robot black. Let's just check the GUI. Yep. So let's hit play and we'll just test this out as it is. So I'll kill the player off first this time. Robot Black wins. And it is working for the opponent. We'll just check that the player is still working. No reason it shouldn't be. But let's just test this out again and just make sure. Round one. Player one wins. So we can stop that there. It's obviously saying the correct name for the correct character. So it is all working. I will have to obviously create all the text and audio clips for all the other robots. Um but as I said, I'll do that. I'm at, well. I'm in the process of doing that. I'm hoping to try and get it done for the end of the month for the Patreons or the highest tier Patreons. Um, if I don't have them complete, I will still post them or the ones I've completed up to now. But we'll leave it here for this lesson. As I said, in the next lesson, we can do something a little bit different and come back to this at a later date when we need to add more code it does need optimizing like a lot of the game does um <clears throat> i will have to get around to doing some lessons on optimization shortly but i know you'll be wanting to move on and uh, do other things with the game so we'll do that in the very next video so as always i hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and as always until then, bye for now.